Business One Tip. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the circumstance when one of our customers is also a vendor for us. Um, we traditionally, and, uh, and for obvious reasons, we will have uh, two different um, business partners, uh, Master Data Records one for the vendor and one for the customer. They could even be different companies, but uh, in our relationship with them, we might wanna link um, their accounts for accounting uh, purposes. And I'm gonna show you today how this can be done. Um, I'm gonna open up a business partner, master data file for one of our customers. We're gonna choose our customer, Mason Inc. And once we open the business partner master data uh, card, we go to the accounting tab and we see here that we have this field connected vendor. And here we can choose to link this customer to a vendor. In this case, we're gonna choose uh, C Corp is one of my vendors. And once we've selected the vendor and we update the business partner file, both these companies will be linked. Where, where can we see this? There, for instance, if you manage a Dunning report recommendations, the Dunning wizard, you will see information and recommendation for both if you choose to show the connected vendors as well. So we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So we're gonna add only the customer, Mason, but then we're gonna click here in this option that mentions consider connected vendors. And we see that this is gonna show us not only recommendations for seek for Mason, our customer, but also for the vendor, for the connected vendor. Another place where this might be useful is when you're doing internal reconciliations. So we go to internal reconciliations in business, under business partners and reconciliations. And you see here that uh, when you, let me show you this. So what you would see is this window. And then you can either choose the customer or the vendor because the link works both ways. Once you connect a vendor to a customer, you can choose, I could choose here the vendor, for instance. Oh, sorry, this didn't work. I think I put the wrong code in here. Let me try. Yes. So once I click that vendor, which has a connected customer, uh, I need to choose the consider connected BPs and this one will be automatically uh, chosen by the system. And I see that I'm gonna be seeing information on both the vendor and the customer for the reconciliation. The other place where you're gonna see information from both the customer and the vendor once you've connected them is in the um, aging reports. So again, you could choose to create a customer receivable aging report or a vendor liability aging report. And if they are connected, you will see information on both. Let me see if I'm, okay. I was getting a little impatient <laughs> there. Okay, so we're gonna choose, let me move my zoom. Okay. So we're gonna choose our customer in this case. And here we're gonna choose consider connected vendors. And this is what's gonna make this report show us information on both the customer and the vendor. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. I'm gonna show 
in a second our contact information here. You can call us or send us an email uh, with any questions that you have regarding your SAP Business One or any of the tips that we're sharing in this series. Uh, please stay tuned to our website as we are preparing um, a lot of webinars and helpful information for you. And uh, send us any suggestions or leave any comments on the, on the videos. We are here to listen and eager to, to learn what it is that you need and how we can help you in, this, in these times. Have a wonderful day and thank you for joining us today.